G'day trendsetters. Today I want to show you how to turn this into this in three easy steps. The first step, or step one if you like, is to prepare your soil. Now I've got this little patch here that receives a fair amount of sun, so you're going to need a sunny situation for zucchinis. Secondly, I need to add a fairly good amount of compost. I'm thinking 15 to 20 litres of compost, so two bucketfuls of compost in here. And I'll also add a complete fertiliser. A complete fertiliser is basically, has your macronutrients, your nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, but also a good selection of micronutrients as well, which include magnesium, iron, and calcium, and a few others as well. So a good, complete fertilizer. And pretty much that's all it needs, but I've got to get that done. Now. now, zucchini will like a well dug soil. Uh, but if you're in the no-dig school, then a nice, good, thick compost will do. But they need to have a, a, a nice, friable, well-turned soil so as their roots can get travel easily through the soil so they can get all the food and water and nutrition they need. I'm just going to turn mine to a depth of the fork which has been more than enough about it covers about between a half a square meter to three quarters of a square meter it should be more than enough now the complete further Fertiliser I'm going to use is just the power feed, uh, the flower, fruit and citrus. Obviously you're not going to be able to get this everywhere you are, but this is the one I'm using. Um, so, what you're looking for on a fertiliser is what's usually referred to as a typical analysis and it'll be on the back of the pack or the side of the pack somewhere. If it hasn't got that, don't buy it, you don't want it. So this one is 10% nitrogen. 1.8% phosphorus and 8% uh, potassium. We've also got sulfur, calcium, silicon, iron, magnesium, zinc, manganese, copper, nickel, boron, molybdenum. Not bad at all, just a handful. It's going to be enough for this. When they reach they start to flower and, and they reach fruiting stage, I will give them another handful then. Should be six, seven, eight weeks, somewhere in there. So that's two months time. I'll give them another handful, another application. Just fluff that into the soil. Ideally, you would do this a week before planting, but I've probably never been that thorough or organised, so I just do it on the day. Now, the next part is the seed. What I'm using here is a F1 hybrid. It's called Zucchini Nitro F1. I, uh, I have a, purchased it from Lambley Nursery. I think it's about the only place I can find in Australia that will sell small quantities of high quality seed. Zucchini are notorious for powdery mildew, especially in the summer when the humidity builds up. And these seeds are bred to be resistant to powdery mildew. They won't stop it, but they're resistant. The one I have growing now is doing really well. I'm really happy with it. So I will continue to use this one. I think that's about all I can tell you about the seed. And it really is now the easy part Poke your seed, doesn't matter. I usually put my seed sideways. It doesn't matter really which way you put it in, I just prefer sideways. And about 
uh, a knuckle and a half deep for me, which is about an inch. That's it, just and cover it. Firm it down a little, water it, and keep it watered. We are supposed to have, we have had rain forecast for the next three or four days, so hopefully that comes true. In this, now that the soil is so warm, the seed should come up, I think, within a week. I think that one came up pretty quickly. Between those two plants, that will give me now, so I've been picking zucchinis for, probably for about a month, and when that one starts to finish, this one will come on. So I'll have zucchinis for four, five months. This will go on for another couple of months, and then this one will be ready, and I'll go for another couple of months after that. So that was step two, planting the seed. Step three is just your basic maintenance, really. You've done the hard work, you've prepared your soil, you've planted your seed, just need to keep it moist, not too wet, but moist. When you water it, try to just water the soil, don't water the plant's leaves. I will give this a mulch with uh, hooflung dung, and I'll probably re-mulch it again at the same time as I fertilise when it starts to flower and fruit. That's it, three simple steps to a zucchini slot. The only thing you might have to do is if you start getting little fruit and the flower falls off and it starts to yellow, you might have to hand pollinate if you're a bit light on pollinators for some reason. Cheers, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.